what do I have for you guys is you want to get bigger there's certain things that you get to avoid so that's what I'm here to help you guys out with as much as possible and of course the boy even though today was day one back in the gym the boy is still doing this cardio session so I'm not cutting out my cardio guys um, and I'm loving my assault bike at the moment so that one is staying for a while okay. so today my topic is what are some of the things that you shouldn't do if you want to get bigger okay so these are just some of the few things that a lot of people a lot of mistakes that people make when they're trying to get bigger um, I want to help you guys as much as possible so if you fall into that category then you can avoid it and run away and fast track your results. Thanks for liking the stream, Legend. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for everyone that's joining in. Welcome, welcome to my live stream. Say hi, say where you're from. And I'm excited to have you on board. Thank you. And please do me a favor by liking the live stream. And let's get this pumping. Okay. So, now, when we're trying to get big muscles, what are some of the things that we would do in order to get big muscles? Okay. Let's talk about our training first. And then we're going to talk about nutrition, okay? How do you get big muscles, okay? In regards to training. Now when it comes to training, okay? What I want you guys to do is have a sort of programming, okay? Now the way you design this programming, okay? It's going to be it's very, very simple. Nothing too hard. First of all, make sure it has compound movement. So you have your squats, your deadlifts, your bench press in there, okay? The first few weeks, focus on just your form and technique, okay? Going all the way down, all the way up, getting full range of motion, this is super important because when it comes to getting big, first of all, you have to learn technique. You can't skip it. If you skip it, it's gonna affect you later on. And I'll tell you why technique is so important, okay? Now, technique helps with your mind and muscle connection. And if you lose your mind and muscle connection while you're training, your joints start to get more impacted than the actual muscle. And in that case, you actually take a lot of the tension from the muscle you're trying to build. So that's why technique is super important because it can actually fast forward you to hitting the actual muscle that you're trying to hit. So technique always number one, okay? So when you are trying to build, don't ignore technique. Focus on technique, um, that's super important. Then after you've got technique down packed in the first two weeks, then we're going to progressive overload. Now what progressive overload is, is basically you just slowly trying to increase the weight, um, the reps, or the sets. So, I would usually start with increasing the amount of reps that you're doing, okay? Because that way it just allows your body to basically learn the movement over and over again. That's how you learn things, you repeat um, things. So, the more reps you're doing, the repetitions, that's what's called repetitions, the more your body is actually going to be learning the movement. So your form technique gets better, okay? Next up, after that, you're going to be getting sore, your body's going to be recovered, recovering, sorry, and then you're going to need a little bit more of a push, okay? Then we're going to start increasing the weights that you're lifting, okay? So you can decrease the reps at this point and increase the amount of weight because it's going to be more effort. So at this time, your body's already used to it, you're recovering well, and it's time for you to finally increase the weight. By this time, your technique should be good too. Now, after you've increased the um, weight, the next two weeks, you starting to increase the amount of sets in there. So that's increasing the volume of the workout. Okay. So these are some of the principles that you probably want to follow if you're like looking to get bigger. And this is if you're a beginner, okay, from the start. Now if you're an intermediate or advanced trainer, this will apply to you differently because you might be already aware with how to do these exercises. So you can fast forward some of these um, by increasing the tension of the, um, the increasing the, um, the amount of sets, reps, um, and weight a lot quicker than focusing on form and technique. That's where it becomes a difference between an intermediate beginner and advanced trainer too. Okay. Now after you've done this, that's not everything. Look, so many different exercises in the world, so many different exercises that can help you. However, you look at your overall aesthetics, you look at your overall goal, okay? Remember, your aesthetics actually gives an illusion of how big you are, okay? A lot of the time everyone wants a smaller waist, bigger shoulders, bigger chest, bigger back. So, start to pinpoint these muscle groups, okay? 
And then after you pinpoint to them, let's say I want to get my chest bigger, okay? What I'll do is I'll increase the frequency of training chest. So when I'm programming, I'm going to start adding more chest gains in there. And then, with your programming as well, it's not as simple as just checking some chest days in there. What you actually ideally want to do is have some heavy days, have some lighter days, give yourself like time to recover as well because recovery is always still number one. No matter how hard you train, recovery is number one. So now we've played up a bit with our training aspect of getting bigger. Let's talk about our nutrition, the food that you put into your body. So, how do you eat to get bigger, okay? This is very important because when it comes to getting bigger, everyone knows food plays a huge role. When it comes to losing weight, food plays a huge role as well too. So, how do you actually eat to make sure you're still getting bigger? Now you have to do something called the caloric surplus or energy surplus, okay? So what you base thanks for the light guys. Hi Rim, how are we? What eating the surplus means, means Whatever you're eating right now, that's actually helping you just maintain your body weight. You have to eat slightly more, okay? Now, this is where the little tricky part comes in. Doesn't necessarily mean that just go eat markets or KFC or whatever. I'm not saying cut it up, but I'm saying don't try and get all your calories from that. Now you wanna go for more whole foods, okay? Have some chicken, some sweet potato. Um, so obviously if you have restrictions on your vegan and vegetarian beans, you know, tofu but have some whole foods in your diet they are enriched with nutrients so these are called nutrient dense foods okay so have some nutrient dense foods in your diet in fact ideally you want to set about 60 to 70 percent at least in whole foods okay this is going to make you also less watery you're going to be able to see what you're building you're going to um will decrease your sodium level slightly um, you're probably going to have a higher potassium level um, counts as well, which also mean also less water, but also you can still also allow you to add more sodium to your food as well too. Because sometimes when you eat a lot of processed foods, they're already enriched with too much sodium, and then you're gonna have to try and lower it. Hi Farouk, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing good. Thanks for joining the live stream, guys, and thanks for following my journey. So, increasing your food you take it. Make sure you have enough protein. Everyone knows that protein, because protein helps with your recovery. Make sure you have enough carbs because that's the energy that you're going to be lifting with in the gym, okay? Your muscles need to be filled with glycogen, okay? And if you don't fill up your muscles with glycogen, how can they work? How can you have that energy to train efficiently to build muscle? In order to build muscle, you got to challenge the muscle too. So this is where it's very important. A lot of people are like, look, I want to build muscle but I don't want to eat carbs. Look, that's fine with me. Your body is very, very efficient. And, um, uh, converting any other micronutrients into um, glucose or glycogen for use, then fine, don't eat carbs, okay? So, carbs are very easy to break down, that's why it's a great food source, uh, especially when you're bulking. So I wouldn't cut out carbs personally if I'm trying to bulk. Unless, of course, your body doesn't really agree with carbs, some people are diabetic and they don't want their blood glucose levels so high, all this kind of stuff, even though you still have lower GI carbs, which probably affect your blood glucose levels differently. So, um, again, carbs, very, very important when it comes to building muscle. If you want to build muscle, you got to make sure you have energy. Energy so you can train efficiently and then challenge the muscle in order for it to tear and then you repair and also, of course, the recovery has to be good. Okay. Now, what are some of the biggest mistakes people make when they are trying to get bigger? They don't have enough rest, okay? Rest is important, almost as important as your training, okay? You really need to make sure your sleeping patterns are on par when you're trying to um, build muscle at the same time. You really, really need to make sure you're getting a good recovery, you stretch if you can sometimes, um, rest is super important, okay? Something not to be ignored. Something you guys should always prioritize. Alright, while we're here guys, not talking from me, let's hear some from you guys. Ask me any questions. Feel free to drop any questions below. Oh, shape ideal. 
fuck? How are we? How you all doing? Today, I did deadlifts. Woo. First day back out of ISO. Did 280 kilos, three sets, three reps, guys. Good fun, good fun. Thanks for the like, fam. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, feel free to super chat as well, too. If you guys want, it's always open. Yeah, so today actually when I went to the gym, I wasn't really, I didn't think I was going to honestly hit my numbers because I've been in for a week now. Um, so, it was like, I've been programming for, this is my fifth week, and you know, missing a few days of programming can affect your lips. So, I had a scoop with my pre-workout, quarter, third quarter quarter scoop, not full scoop. And yeah, I got it done. I was very happy with that. That was something that already made my day. So, um, yeah, but the full video is gonna come out soon. I show you guys my training daily. So guys, if you guys, you guys aren't following it, please make sure you check out my daily videos. If you guys haven't, has actually quick question: Have you guys been seeing my daily videos? Let me know in the comments below. Have you guys been seeing my daily videos? I post. I'm posting every single training session. Oh boy, you see my struggles. You see my strengths. Let me know in the comments below if you don't see it. I'm very curious. So no, um, yeah, I've been filming daily, trying to push out um, as much content as you guys, so you guys can see how I train, I've got all the reps and sets written out there for you, so you guys don't miss a thing as well, so, yeah, but how you guys doing? Hi, Jax. How you doing? Jump into the chat, say hi. I don't know where you guys are from. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. I want to help you guys. From the Philippines, that's cool. What time is over there? Guys, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscription button. All my training daily, I'm posting every single thing. Reps, sets. So you guys can try it as well. Every single day. You go on my profile, you see my training programs everything okay all free information out there for you guys go hard if you have any questions feel free to drop them 9 20 a.m probably liquid long time how you doing has anyone been anyone seen my training programs i'm posting them all daily full recording full sets everything reps hope you guys are checking it out ask me any questions as well guys i want to help you as much as possible guys so ask me any questions struggling to put on muscles, anyone struggling to um, lose weight, let me know. I want to help you. Mm. How 
can you possibly get with natural? Literally, what I've explained in the video here, okay? So, I'm gonna break it down super quick, as easy as possible as well too. Okay, getting big naturally, okay, requires you, first of all, your training, your nutrition, and your recovery. Three things, supplementation is nutrition as well too. Okay, now, when it comes to training, progressive overload with your training, which means you want to have a structure, maybe like an eight-week block, a ten-week block, okay, where the first few weeks, just aim for about like six to eight reps, okay, go for big compound movements like squats, your deadlifts, bench press, overhead press, um, dumbbell bench press, okay, then after the two weeks, just wait till your form technique, get full range of motion with everything, after two weeks, you can increase the amount of reps you do. Okay, maybe go for 10 to 12 reps. Okay? Then after, after that, the body's gonna get more used to it. Then after those two weeks again, what you're going to do is you're gonna increase the number of sets in there. Okay? How many sets are you doing now? Now you're going from like three sets, you're gonna go up to four sets. It's gonna increase your volume by quite a bit. Okay? Then increase your weight, how much weight you're lifting as well too. Okay? If you're lifting five kilos with a bench press. Go up to 10 kilos, okay? Slowly, slowly, slowly. Over the next couple of weeks, drop the reps. Go down to six weight reps. And then, slowly increase our weight. And be challenging yourself weekly until you plateau, okay? And then, when you plateau, you reset again, okay? Training-wise, we just covered that. Let's talk about nutrition and your food, okay? With your food, make sure you have high enough protein. Everyone knows that. You can get protein from your um, chicken, eggs, um, meats, fish, beans, you know, legumes, and you, um, legumes and grains if you're vegetarian or vegan. Okay. Now, when you have your um, protein intake sorted, let's talk about your carbohydrates. You need carbs for energy so you can train more efficiently, especially those weeks where you're going to be increasing the weight. You can train it for a longer period of time. Make sure you have your carbs, have some bread, have some pasta, have some rice, um, you know, have some sweet potato, okay? All these things are going to help with your training. Now, you don't have to have a strict diet to be able to put on muscle mass. So, what you want to do, what's up, Almeida? Um, what you want to do, eat at least 60 to 70% of whole foods, okay? They're called nutrient-dense foods. So, like, you basically have, like, you know, your sweet potato, your rice, all of that kind of stuff. And then, if you want to eat like a burger, a pizza, whatever, have it on top. Just make sure that your overall energy intake for the day is actually higher than your energy output, okay? With that being said, don't limit your training, but increase your food in that instance. And then, you're going to be slowly getting bigger. You're going to notice the, the difference. Supplementation, creating, one of the most tested supplements in the world, have some creatine if you if it's good with a doctor. Make sure you always consult with your doctor or physician before you have any sort of supplementation. Even your foods, because you might have food allergies. Um, creatine, creatine for recovery, post training. Um, no, those are probably your main ones you need. And then when you get deeper and deeper into training, you can start having a look at things like beta alanine when you waken with metabolic training and endurance and stuff like that. Um, but when you start it out, you don't even need any of that to start with. All you're going to need is, so I say your creatine, your protein are your two biggest ones. Um, I personally love having glutamine as well. And then eventually, then you start adding more and more. I love you from Brazil. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Appreciate the love and support. Much love. And everyone that's on, like I was saying before, on my training, every single day for free, it's on my channel. Turn on, my, turn on your post notifications because every day I release full program. Today I'm going to be releasing my deadlifts today. Um, front squat, I squatted 150 kilos, 140 kilos front squats for a couple, 280 kilo deadlifts. Um, there's some shoulder pressing with some heavies as well too, some leg press, some RDLs, my whole workout, reps, sets, everything. It's going to be on my channel, okay? It's already. My last week's already is all on my channel, okay? I will go stack an ISO for a week, so a week of my training is home training. So for those of you that are interested in home training, it's all there for you, okay? 
Uh, for those of you that want to gym training, lots of half of it is gym training already and today is another gym training one so pretty exciting. Lots and lots ready for you guys and like I said, I'm posting daily. I want to help you guys be the best version of yourself and hey, if you can't be the best version of yourself, who else can be? So, I want to help you guys and push you guys to your most potential, right? Now, do you guys have any questions for me? So I want to help you. I'm here for you guys. I want to help you guys. Do you guys have any questions for me? Feel free to drop any questions. Guys, thanks so much for the support as well. Please hit that like button as well too, guys, while you're in here. And where's everyone from? I've seen a lot of people from Brazil so far. Where's everyone from? Where are you guys from? How tall am I? I'm 177 centimeters. Which is about 5 foot 10, I think, 5 foot 11, 5 foot 10, something like that. Keep the questions coming, guys. You play football? I did play football. I'm um, 177 centimeters. Can I share a link to purchasing Creti? Send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram is Aquamadua. Um, with a blue tick, I got a blue verification check mark. Just because I got a sell site your location. I'm a BSN sponsored athlete as well too. Um, and I can show you or direct you where to buy creatine and where to get supplementation in general. So again, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you guys as much as possible. Get bigger, get stronger, get small. So the boy is always got you. I just want to say a big thank you for jumping onto the stream. You guys are the real MVPs. I appreciate all the love and support. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for making my stream. Thank you for coming on, engaging with me, sharing my streams. Whatever you guys do, I appreciate you guys. Again, um, thanks for the like as well, guys. Um, again, my daily trainer is on my channel. Please turn on post notifications so you don't miss out. Go check out my other ones as well too. They are bombers. You guys get to see how I train fully. I don't leave anything out. Keep it transparent for you guys. Get the reps and sets in as well. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're seven foot tall. That's amazing. Wow. That is huge. I used to wish I was taller when I was younger. Until I started doing bodybuilding. <laughs> and I was still the tallest in my class when I first competed. <laughs> which was good for me you know like I was, ha I was happy about that I was happy about that thanks Anderson thank you guys Where's, where are you guys from? where are you guys from? where's everyone from? Oh, you're a quarterback? Nice. Dude, you, you're literally the king of the team. That's awesome. It means you're going to have a lot of functional training in your training routines. I'm guessing you're from the US, Caleb. American Antelope Valley. That's awesome. guys it's time for me to clock up um, again thank you so much um, you guys are the real MVPs I appreciate the love and support stay tuned for what's coming today 
all my training nice and live all my sets reps all for you guys i got you fam your boy is out thanks again peace